Hi everybody. Happy daylight saving time. Not really. It's early. I'm tired. Anyways, uh, good morning to you guys. Anyways, I have another um, Hobby Lobby clearance haul. Everything I got was, um, I believe, 75% off. Everything I got was clearance. So, let me just start off with the sketchbooks. They have a lot of sketchbooks um, on clearance. Well, not a lot, but some nice sketchbooks. So, you gotta you got to look through every single aisle and look for the yellow tags and just see what you want. So, first thing I've got... And I've had my eye on these for a long time, but they're pretty expensive. So um, I found them on clearance, and there were only two left, so I got the last two. This is a handmade watercolor book. I don't know what this was originally priced at. I'm thinking about $30 or so. This is a 9x6 um, acid-free drawing paper. a 100% cotton fiber. And... Like I said, I have had my eye on these for a long time, but they've been ex pretty expensive. So, I'm just going to open it up to show you. And I guess 100% cotton is the ideal paper that you want to use for um, watercolor. Oh, this is so cool. Very textured and thick papers all handmade paper really nice really really nice so I will be saving these for when I get better at watercolor really nice um, like textured leather like uh, cover uh, then the next one like I said there were only one each of these so there was the 9 by 6 and then this one, which is a 9 by 12 so same thing. There's 48 pages in both of, both of those sets. This was originally, you can't see that because of the glare. It was originally $49.99. I got it for $12.50. So same thing, just a bigger. I need to zoom. Well, I can't zoom out, but I'm going to have to rearrange my camera. Next thing I got was this um, journal or art journal I think it's, it was two dollars and fifty cents on clearance originally $9.99 and I don't care for the cover so I'll probably just change that at some point this is magnetic and it's got some nice art paper in here so nice um, it's got a little bit of texture to it nice white pages there's a little there's a pocket here, and then there's um, a pocket in the back as well. And this is 8 by 6 around 8 by 6 and this is uh, 60 sheets of white sketch paper. Next up, I got two of these. So, like I said, go look in your um, the art paper section, not the craft papers but the artist paper, like where the watercolor and the sketchbooks are, and just look for the the yellow tags. These actually got all of them that they had left. They only had two of these left. So this is a Master's Touch drawing pad, and they are black paper. And they were originally $3.99. I got them for a dollar. 50 sheets, 6 by 8 inches. So I got two of those. Uh, I got one of these, and this is the same thing, but bigger, so 9 by 12. Got this for $2, which was originally $7.99. This is also the black paper. Next, I got this paper, which was originally $10.99. Sorry about the glare. And uh, got this all clear. It's for $2.75. Cream drawing paper. 90 pound fine texture reworkable surface in and out pages so not sure dome lock technology patent pending 24 sheets and this is cream colored okay so what this is is you can actually 
it's perforated here so you can tear the page off but you can also pull it out by the by the punches here so you can actually pull this out kind of like one of those cinch cinch um I want to call them cinch machines but those journals like happy planners or whatever where you can pull the pages in now that's pretty neat so we can pull it out if you need to and then put it back in that's cool let's see and then I got there were only two left of these so this is a really nice um, originally $8.99 got it on clearance for $2.25 and that's a spiral sketchbook by Masters Touch acid free 80 sheets um, for pencil chalk graphite crown ink and light watercolor let's see Let's see how thick these pages are if I can open one up. Is that a nice cover? Oh. Yeah, they're not very thick, so I yeah, I don't think I would use definitely when they say light watercolor, you it's gonna be light. You're not gonna make this really wet. So this is mainly just for sketching two of those and that's it for the sketchbooks I've never seen this before this is Faber Castell tea stain dye and it's for fabric and paper and we've got three colors green matcha blue chai and pink hibiscus so I, I can't wait to try this out so I will definitely video this when I do when I tried this and you use this with watercolor paper and this is originally $8.99 and I got it for $2.25 so can't wait to use that um, next up my daughter's been wanting some wax seals so found this for $4 and it was $15.99 originally the only issue that I have with this is that all they had were like the wedding seals so this is I don't know if you can see that but it's got uh, wedding rings on here and it looks like a wedding cake so I'll need to find some other some other uh, seals here there's that one then I got this was originally $6.99 uh, on clearance for $1.79 these are calligraphy type markers um, and they're in white so these will go great with uh, the black paper then I found and I will be using these for the gel prints jelly printing I found four different wooden blocks where's my fourth one so these were these three were two dollars a piece originally seven ninety nine. The smaller one was a dollar fifty, originally five ninety nine. So these are for fabric, but you can also use them on paper. So when I use my gel print, I will be using these. I love putting texture in my jelly prints. Um, so these are block printing stamps, and these are wooden. And this is like I don't know what you would call this design we've got a paisley one here these are nice sizes like at least two and a half inches long here's another one which is like a um, Indian print or oh, what do you call those I forget what you call these henna type tattoo looking things and then here's another one so this one's a little bit smaller but it's it's a good probably three inches three inches wide maybe uh, let's see next up there were only two of these on clearance these were originally 249 I've never used these I don't I don't use fabric I mean I don't dye fabric or anything but they were only two, 62 cents so I'm gonna try these out with something there's dark green and sunshine sunshine orange so this is writ dye let's see yeah, pretty neat 
package color reflects approximate results when dyeing white or off-white 100% cotton. I think I could use this with paper, with watercolor paper. So I tried that out with along with the tea stained kit that I got. This I got for 50 cents. These are like little studs that you can um, use to embellish whatever fabric or whatever. Um, and these were 50 cents, originally $1.99, 100 pieces. And I have an idea for this because I'm going to, I started a traveler's notebook and I might use these to edge. I don't know yet, but we'll see. These might go. I might use this to edge my fabric for the traveler's notebook. Next up, I've been wanting one of these. This is a hake brush bamboo hake brush and this was only 75 cents originally 2.99 I think these are made with goat hair and I've seen people use these a lot in watercolor it sheds, it's shedding quite a bit but it's really soft so I can't wait to try that out next I've got a India ink pen and it was originally 10.99 I got it for 2.75 so can't wait to try that as well. This is a two millimeter chisel tip, water resistant, dilutable with water and refillable. So I like that part where once this is used, we could I could refill it for with some other ink. And I do have a lot of acrylic inks that I might try that with once that one is done. Um, I bought a couple more of these. Bria Reese paint writer. So these were 74 cents a piece originally, $2.99. I hauled these in an earlier Hobby Lobby haul that I have um, out there. These were the only two colors left. Mars Orange is this one, and then this one is Raw Sienna. So 74 cents. I couldn't resist picking up the last two of those. And then I've got three different colors of the Dino Wakely heavy body acrylic paint was originally $5.99 and they were on sale for $1.50. And these were the only three colors that they had left. So this is turquoise, evergreen, and fuchsia. Almost done, guys. Uh, and then I bought like every color of these and these were the only two left that I saw um, and these are the FW acrylic inks uh, and this one I think is waterfall and this this green one and it is a pearlescent acrylic ink and then this one is process cyan and originally $5.99 got them for $1.49 and these were kind of just off by themselves somewhere because they've actually gotten rid of all of the I didn't see any FW inks at all left I think they've replaced them with I want to say Amsterdam like a whole other shelf so got those last two and then last but not least is this I've never seen this before this was originally $24.99 and it's clearanced for six dollars and 25 cents and this is create a color aqua brick so these are watercolor blocks made in australia so i'm going to open that up if i can i can't wait to try these out as well Ooh, look at that how cool is that so there's these hard watercolor blocks that you can use oh uh, what's this what is this I'm not sure oh it's a pop-up sponge that is a sponge isn't that cool so I could wet this and it should probably fill that whole section I cannot wait to make to do something with this and it looks like there is a video on this that you can scan this code and some YouTube so you can use this for uh, airbrushing. It's kind of a gouache, I guess, is what it's saying. That is really neat. So.
so that is it for my haul thank you guys it's early so i'm kind of like still tired right now <laughs> but anyway thank you guys for watching and i will be back with something else i think my next project and i started the traveler's notebook so i want to film that as i go along so i appreciate you guys watching um if you want to get notified of any of my new videos coming up just please subscribe and thank you so much and see you later bye bye